badly and then Frieza will just prove them wrong and he enjoys torturing people so this you know this is quite an advantage for Frieza he really enjoys that and yeah he's been shown to just be able to obliterate planets just like that and in his first form which has a power level of 530,000 his second form uh, Frieza gets a really I don't know he gets like a huge growth spurt he resembles King Cole his father greatly and his power essentially doubles he's pretty intimidating and his voice is deepened and yeah his power just skyrockets his ego skyrockets in that form everything skyrockets for Frieza you know now his third form most notably resembles the Xenomorph from the Aliens franchise and <laughs> I find that pretty funny because um I guess what there was this one part in the anime where Free where Krillin was thinking what uh Frieza's final form would be and it <laughs> he pretty much what he saw was a Xenomorph. Now this Frieza has a huge boost in speed, he's able to get many hits onto his opponent, he becomes I don't know, he taunts a lot. Um I don't know, he's really dangerous in that form. And th there's not really much I can say about this because I don't really want to get to his final form. So, we're in his final form now. Now this final form of Frieza, it, it doesn't look very special because that's the form that he was born in. Um, this The design is simple, but it's still really menacing. And Frieza here has the ability to regulate his power perfectly. He can go from fighting at 1% to his 100% full power, but it takes him a while to actually get to that full power. And when Goku actually initially transformed against Frieza, Frieza had to beg for time because uh, Goku could have ended him at any time because Frieza, you know, he would take too long to power up and he would leave his guard open. I mean, yeah, I think that's it. He would leave him, yeah, he would leave himself open to Goku, so he had to ask him and he took advantage of Goku saying, I guess, pride because Goku wants to be Frieza at his 100% form. And yeah, now we're at 100% of Frieza's power. Now, this in this form, Frieza's physique bulks up immensely. Like he bulks up, everything goes up. His stamina isn't the best because he starts losing his power really quickly since he's not used to this form. Um, this form, I guess, it's it's immensely powerful, but it's Frieza's probably biggest weakness as well because once he achieves it, and if he's, if he's fighting against an opponent that's kind of equal or just a bit stronger than him. He's still gonna lose unless he just takes out the opponent in, you know, a few seconds because he's gonna lose that he's gonna lose all that power really quickly. And now we have Mecha Frieza. So after the fight against Goku and Namek, Frieza, you know, after taking that full blast of Goku's power, he was left floating in space. And because of how, um, I guess how strong Frieza's race is in terms of being able to endure everything, Frieza was reconstructed using technology to augment his power so now he was able to harness more than his 100% in that form he was essentially way stronger than what he was at Namek and this still wasn't enough not against the Super Saiyan because Future Trunk showed up he mocked Frieza and then he cut him up into pieces and vaporized him until there was nothing left now we get to the good stuff so here we essentially have Golden Frieza. What Golden Frieza is, it's a form that Frieza achieved sometime during his four or I think, yeah, I think it's four months of training. He achieved this with Tagoma because Tagoma was pretty much his punching bag, that's it. Because Tagoma, he, in Resurrection F, uh, the movie, he kills Tagoma, but in Dragon Ball Super, he uses him as a punching bag. So four months of that, and they're both getting immense power boost. Tagoma becomes superiorly strong to any member of, I guess, the army or Frieza's galactic empire ever. Or Frieza himself has ascended beyond the realm of the Super Saiyan God, but he's still not close enough to Beerus. So when I, it's 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 wrong to call this golden form, but it's golden form because this is the sort of color Frieza chose for this form. Essentially, th he could choose any color that he wants for this form because at one stage in the Resurrection F movie, we get to see him change back the golden color, he drains, and then he actually goes back to his first form. And this form, Frieza's actually 
able to overpower Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan or Super Saiyan Blue Goku fairly easily in the movie. Now in the Dragon Ball Super anime, they're kind of tied, but you know he still takes the advantage at the end uh, over Super Saiyan Blue or Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan Goku. And now we get to Kuriza. Kuriza is a character from the manga that is called Nekomajin, and that manga is essentially a parody of Dragon Ball by Akira Toriyama. Now, Kuriza is a pun on, in the Japanese word for chestnuts, which is Kuri and Frieza as well, so therefore we have Kuriza, and it's funny because his head is shaped like a chestnut. So, Kariza is very similar to his father. He has a first form and a, I guess the form that he was born in. Um, he's very bratty, but he's not as he's not evil like his father, and not essentially anyway. He just wants to show off. Um, he cheers on Vegeta, and yeah. So this is just the character from a gag manga. Uh, Kariza actually appeared in Dragon Ball Z two V, which is I'm pretty sure Blue Card two. And he also appears in Dragon Ball Heroes as a playable character in his final form and his base form. Now we have Kula. Now Kula is the brother of Frieza, and he's a very, very strong member of the Frieza race. He is, well, in the Dragon Ball Z, I guess, movie, he's actually been stated to be way stronger than his brother because he has managed to discover a form beyond the first form, essentially. So, unlike Frieza, who transforms backwards, you know, to regulate his power. Kula did the opposite. He actually managed to find a form that's stronger than his, so he actually transforms to gain a power boost. Now, through this form, he's he's gained a large, I guess, gap between himself and normal Goku.